Hello friends and welcome to the fourth part of this video tutorial series on molecular dynamics. In previous part, we have seen uh, some of the theory and examples of this gravitational potential. In this part, I'm going to talk about this LJ potential or say Leonard Jones potential. So without wasting a time, let's start now. So for a system of n particles, the force due to this LJ potential acting on the ith particle is given by this big formula, right? Here this Ri is the distance from the origin and uh, this Rm and epsilon are the constant. As you all know, uh, as we have also discussed in a previous presentation that uh, this epsilon is the strength of minima and this Rm is the shift of minima, right? And uh, in this formula, this first term with positive sign represents the short range repulsive force. And this uh, negative sign with uh, eighth order power is indicating the long range attractive force. So it, will, uh, it is uh, like um, if your particle is far away, then uh, LJ potential will give a rise to a attractive potential. And if your particle is too close, then it will give a rise to a repulsive force. So that's how this uh, LJ potential acts. And this is the formula for potential energy. Okay, so let's uh, uh, discuss some example and uh, let's dig deeper into this topic. So let's discuss our very simple example system of two particles, right? So this problem uh, says consider a system of two particles all the particles have same mass right and velocities are as depicted in this uh, image right so this guy has a velocity vector in positive direction and this guy has a velocity vector in negative direction direction so they are pointing towards each other study the motion of such system and uh, also plot the kinetic energy potential energy and total energy of the system so uh, uh, before I simulate this thing, uh, I want to know from you guys what will happen. Uh, will it uh, just fly away due to repulsive force or they will stick to each other due to attractive force? What do you think? What will happen? Let's uh, explore this example and let's uh, simulate this uh, problem. So uh, here's the code which I have developed. And as we discussed, uh, we will first uh, change inputs in this uh, inputs.txt. Then we will initialize our problem. Let me uh, comment out this. Uh, okay, yes. Uh, let me save this thing. And then we will run this main.py uh, file to uh, find answer of our problem. And lastly, we will plot our result. Let's. Uh, okay so we are we want to simulate two particles right so here i'm writing n is equal to two i want to run this simulation for 10 seconds of a normalized time it's a normalized time right and this is dt right our uh, uh, precision and as i said this is rm shift on uh, shift in our minima and this epsilon is the uh, strength of minima so let's uh, save this thing and let's jump to our initial.py so these are the initial conditions for our uh, particles. One particle is at uh, minus one uh, on x-axis and this is for uh, second particle means it is, uh, it is placed at uh, plus one on uh, x-axis. These are the velocities vx and vy as you can see here and this is, uh, these are the masses for uh, two particles. Let's initialize this uh, file by running this thing okay we have initialized our parameters now we will uh, find the answer so uh, yes uh, now we want to plot our result right so we will run this plot data.py file okay so let's see what kind of result we are getting okay so this kind of uh, beautiful pattern we are getting two spikes right so let's uh, see what is happening by animating this result we want to animate this thing and as i discussed in my previous video if we if i write this uh, do my work dot animate particles uh, command this thing will uh, animate my result okay and i have also posted this uh, codes on my github so you can easily access this code let's hit the run button and see what we are getting okay so they are initially coming close to each other okay yes so here uh, due to the uh, repulsive force they are uh, moving away from each other 
now again they are moving towards each other each other and uh, this is due to attractive force and now again this repulsive force become dominant one and yes one more thing uh, you may have noticed that uh, here we have missed some data this is because i am skipping the 75 data points just to uh, speed up this calculation let's uh, jump to our presentation for result and uh, results and discussion so we have noticed here that um, we have two spikes as you can see in this uh, uh, area we have two spikes right uh, first one is due to the repulsive force okay so when uh, our particle hit the re uh, repulsive uh, barrier uh, we have a spike in our kinetic energy then again we have this second spike this is because our particle has crossed the minima value so one spike is due to the repulsive force when our particle hits the repulsive barrier and next this next uh, spike is due to uh, when our particle crosses the minima value and uh, Again, we have uh, this kind of a uh, spike after some time. This is because, uh, as I said, uh, after some time, this uh, attractive force becomes a dominant one, right? So that is the reason why we are uh, getting this uh, re uh, repetitive behavior, right? So this ends the first example. Now let's uh, discuss some tough example. So in this problem, we want to create a system of nine particles, which is stable. And uh, this problem also says that initial velocities are zero, means uh, that this system doesn't have any kinetic energy initially. And we want to study the kinetic energy, potential energy and total energy of this system, right? So uh, again, what will happen? I want to know from you guys, uh, will they just stick to each other or they just fly away? What will happen? Let's uh, find answer for this. Now again, let me clear the skin was right. Okay, now let's jump to our inputs.txt. And uh, here we want to simulate nine particles. And uh, we want to run this uh, simulation for five normalized uh, units of time, right? So here I'm writing T max is equal to five, right? Next, uh, let's uh, initialize our uh, parameters let's okay let me uncomment this thing so these are the inputs for my uh, second uh, problem right so let me run this thing okay we have initialized our parameters now i am running my main dot py okay to find out the coordinates at time t and now i want to plot my results so i want to i will run this plot data Okay, so we are getting uh, this kind of energy profile, right? This uh, orange curve is kinetic energy. This, uh, let me zoom this thing for you guys. So this uh, green curve is for potential energy and uh, this constant blue line is our total energy. So as you can see here, our uh, um, total energy is remaining constant, means uh, this simulation is correct. So with this uh, good news, let's, uh, animate this result so uh, they are kind of bounded to their position they are not uh, much moving right so as you can see um, this kinetic energy is almost remaining constant right so uh, for further analysis let's uh, jump to our presentation so this is the energy profile uh, we got right so first thing which we have noticed is um, throughout this animation our particles are bounded right and the kinetic re energy remain almost constant means there is not uh, much disturbance and uh, we can also say that there is not much interaction between this potential energy and kinetic energy so this will create a kind of a late ice right uh, this uh, system of particle won't move much okay so this is what we have concluded. Now I have prepared some exercise for you guys. Three problems for your exercise. 
जस्ट बिकॉज दिस एल जे पोटेंशियल इज वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग ओके सो आई वॉन्ट यू टू डू सिम्यूलेशन फॉर दिस प्रॉब्लम ओके सो फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम इज स्टडी द डायनेमिक्स ऑफ सिक्सटीन पार्टिकल्स सो बेसिकली वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू से इन दिस सेकेंड एग्जाम्पल वी हैव सिम्यूलेटेड सिक्स नाइन पार्टिकल सॉरी and uh, in this uh, problem you simulate 16 particles so instead of uh, this 3 by 3 uh, kind of a thing you simulate 4 by 4 uh, particles means a uh, total 16 particles four particles on uh, x axis and four particles on y axis so that uh, thing you must do the second problem is very interesting a short a fast particle to the system of nine particles so uh it is like uh, this is the system of nine particle and uh, here you have some another particle uh let's say 10th particle uh you can uh, short this particle from this uh, left side okay and uh, uh uh see what kind of effect you are getting and the third problem is short a slow particle to the system of a uh, nine particle a uh, slow particle means uh, this particle will have very uh, uh what say low uh, kinetic energy or say uh, it has very slow uh, velocity okay so uh but let me tell you uh this problems are kind of a creative problems right so i will not leave you without uh, the final profile of result right so this is the solution for a uh, first problem guys as you can see i have simulated uh, this kind of a uh, uh, 16 particles and uh, i will not uh, discuss much about this thing you can uh, discuss this thing in uh, this comment uh, section below the next is uh, second problems solution right so from here i have uh, i have my fast particle and uh, i'm shooting from this uh, left side and this kind of kinetic energy and potential energy profile i am getting here also uh, i am getting a constant value means uh, this uh, simulation is correct no matter how crazy my uh, kinetic energy and potential energy profile is now before i discuss or uh, show you the solution for the third problem i want to discuss the third pillar of our strategy okay so third pillar is speed so in some problem some problems demand small value of dt and big value of t max because it may happen that uh, local interactions may show its effect after some time and our current python script will take too much time to solve this kind of a problem okay because there are too many calculations and python scripts are not that fast so it may take lot of time right so there are uh, ways to speed up our calculation right so this three are my favorite first is we skip some data okay uh, i will show you how we can do this thing next is write our uh, code in uh, programming languages like c c++ or fortran so this uh, programming languages are much faster compared to our python script okay because these are the compiling uh, languages so uh, and okay i have forgotten uh, the third and most important is parallel processing so uh, what you can do is uh, you can uh, parallel uh, uh, use parallel processing to divide the work of uh, your code for for example some part uh, can solve first core of your processor second uh, uh, part uh, uh, can solve your second uh, processor third uh, part of your code can uh, uh, solve this problem in third core so that's how we can speed up our process okay let me show you how we can uh, you uh, use this uh, skip data and uh, this uh, second strategy to speed up our code so yes okay so i have written this uh, main dot c code this is our main file right 
and this is the quick overview of uh, this code i have written this thing in a c and uh, this main.c will work very much similar to this uh, main.py code okay so instead of running this main.py what you can do is you can run this uh, main.c file right to speed up your calculations so let me uh, discuss very briefly this part will call our uh, inputs from inputs.txt file and this is simple initialization this load this command load is uh, this function so basically i'm uh, calling the value uh, values of x y vx vy and mass from this files so that's what this uh, load function will do next is i am using euler cromer method same logic uh, notice that i am using the same logic as we have uh, seen in this uh, main.py uh, file right i am first using this euler cromer method then i am using my bman's uh, uh, algorithm to solve this problem okay so here also you can see that i am first using this uh, euler cromer method then in this main time loop i am using my bman's algorithm same thing okay and uh, now comes this first part which we have seen here this keep data strategy so i am writing this if uh, loop or say i am uh, giving this if condition that if my count is equal to 10 then and then you can save this uh, result okay so this will uh, save a lot of time okay so uh, we don't have to uh, store the value of x y v x and v y every uh, instant instead we can uh, save this thing after uh, uh, we get count is equal to 10 so that's how we can do this thing the second strategy is c uh, or c++ uh, as you can see here uh, i have already written this code in c language so this is our second strategy i'm not uh, running this uh, script uh, but you can uh, find this code on uh, my github so i want you to run this thing and uh, let me know in comment section that what you are getting for this third problem so uh, this is the solution or say energy profile for a third problem if you are getting this kind of result then your animation is correct now here's the hidden hint for you guys I have uh, mentioned that uh, some problems demand a smaller value of dt and bigger value of t max. So here you will notice something amazing after 15 seconds of normalized time. Okay, you will uh, notice. Uh, okay, I will not uh, disclose this secret. So you can uh, write in comment section that what you are getting in simulation. So with this thing. Uh, uh, this ends our uh, fourth part of this uh, molecular dynamics series in this uh, uh, series or say this part we have seen how to simulate this LJ potential and we have also discussed the third pillar of our strategy which is speed in next part I'm going to discuss this Lorentz force and lastly we will summarize our presentation so this ends the video guys see you guys in the next video bye